part of the plastic. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. 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 It was fun. I Erica got me that. Yeah? Yeah. Your piggy bank. <laughs> yeah. I like it because he's all tatted up. Yeah. And he's grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the, um, what was it? Kevin Hart played the rabbit. Yes. Oh, my Dude. God. He did, such a good, <laughs> he did such a good job. He's like, I look heroic. <laughs> Dude, that movie. I'm a little wet, but I still look good. <laughs> yeah, my kids love that movie. Secret Life of Pets. Yeah, and yeah. then um, what was the other one? Um, Sing. You know, I actually haven't seen that movie. It's pretty good. There's been a couple, yeah. uh, a couple people that have told me that it's a, it's a good movie. I we actually just watch watched it, the but... Sing Two the other day. Yeah. Yeah, my kids wanted to sit down and watch that. So, but nice. yeah, it's it, it's it's cool as shit because like they use like good music and everything like that and yeah because they, they put some animals. of the like pop songs or something like that right yeah a lot of pop songs yeah. a lot of weird weird shit in that <laughs> it's weird too because like, like with that yeah. trolls movie dude <laughs> don't even get me started on trolls <laughs> man trolls movie. Oh. oh speaking of troll well you know justin tipperlake is one of the you branch he's, yeah yeah he's yeah. The, the blue one or yeah. whatever you know and uh, they have a new one coming out soon, too. But, uh, you know, Britney Spears came out with a book. Yeah. And she unloaded a bunch of shit in that book. And apparently there's a lot of backlash coming back on Justin Timberlake. Oh, because of well, they were they were both Disney kids. I think so. Yeah, yeah they were. They, I think that they were on the, was, what the band, same what casting. Was that, what was that big band he was in? Uh was that boy oh band? Oh my god! Was it NSYNC or? I, yeah, it was NSYNC. Yeah, but, yeah, because yeah. there was NSYNC and then there was the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the newer shit. When I was a kid, it was New Kids on the Block. Oh yeah, no, I loved New Kids on the Block. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit growing up. Fucking New Kids on the I Block. I was like, yeah. What was um, uh, Donnie Wahlberg? Yeah. And his brother, well, Marky Wahlberg. Mark yeah, Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark is a badass dude, man. Like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah, but Don, <laughs> Don, Donnie's a great actor, too. And um, he was in, um, uh, he's in a TV show. He was in a TV show. I forget what it was, but he was a cop and stuff like that. But uh, he's played, he, he has played some really good, good parts and stuff. But um, he was in Band of Brothers. And I knew there was, like, I knew he looked... I didn't know exactly who he was, but I was yeah, like, he, he, he looks played, like he played uh, Mark Wahlberg, but he, Donnie Wahlberg not. <laughs> played Carl Lipton, yeah, who was um, a soldier in the five o, uh, I believe it is the five o third, you know, the yeah. parachute, the paratroopers and yeah. stuff. But uh, he uh, he was in a lot of action, and like I'm a huge fan of that World War II stuff, so I watch Band of Brothers all the time. Yeah. But Donnie Wahlberg, he played Carl Lipton, you know, and he ended up throughout the series, and I believe in real life too, he was given a uh, battlefield commission. Oh. So they bumped him. He ended up starting off as like I think it was just like a three bar sergeant, sergeant, and then he worked his way all the way up to you know a uh, second lieutenant oh cool yeah so it was it was pretty cool but like he like that that movie like man I, I that series i could watch over and over and over again and like it just man it's just like it's so unbelievable what those guys went through during that time yeah like the battle of bastone um there's a gentleman i watch his youtube channel and uh, I believe it's called the his, the traveling historian or whatever his name is. But he travels all over to these sites from World War II, and he went to Bastogne. And to this day, you can go to the woods, and there's still the craters, the foxhole craters that they were dug into during mm -hmm. World War II, and it, it's crazy as shit, man. I don't it, think people realize how much shit they went through when they were over there and the fact that it's like haunting to see stuff like that like even when um they do the the tour the tours at uh auschwitz and all oh, those yeah. other places like there is a huge aura of like 
bad juju around there. Like you can feel how bad it is. Yeah. Just by walking around it. Like you don't even have to like you you know <laughs> that some I bad mean, shit the, happened there. The sh- the sh- honestly the the shit that those guys went through and you know that's what gets me about today's day and age is kids today, okay? These 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds today have no thought process on the shit that these guys, when they were 17 years old, 16 years old, lying to the to government try and get in. to get yep. into the service. There was guys 16, 17 years old who lied, got in, and were overseas fighting Germans. Yep. And it's unbelievable that because sh- they wanted to protect their families. They yeah. didn't want the, any of that bad shit to happen to their family. Oh hell no! And and the the shit today, their feelings get hurt, and they have to hold a puppy. They have oh oh god, what is it? Um, Damone had told me that they had like cards. It, there's a red card like at basic now. Like if you, you're like uh uh I can't. <laughs> I can't do this right now. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Somebody, yeah, I had heard that. Um, I can't remember what uh, what branch of the service it was, but it's like you know, there's you know, a yellow card and a red card, and like if you're you really can't take it, you got to just be like, I can't fucking do this right now. I'm like, really? That's messed up. If you're if you're in a position like they're they're readying you to go into battle. Yeah. Like they're not readying you to, to to get ready for whatever position it is that you're in because basic training is they're preparing you to be a soldier because whatever other job, whatever other MOS it is that you have, that's great, but you're a soldier first. So if you basic can't get through all of that stuff, basic training is to break you. Yeah. It is to and break then build you, you back and up and rebuild you yep. to build you back up. Yeah. When I went through basic it was no joke. Yep. It was no joke. I mean, we had a few that did not want to be there. Then why sign up? Yeah. Why sign up and go? Yeah. Then you realize when you get there, the shit that you're mentally going to have to go through. Yeah. They're just like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not right. But to have a card that you keep on your body and when you're drill sergeant. Now, it is, could just be a rumor. It could just be a rumor. If that Maybe shit it was Dumpson. So help but, me. Oh my God. But I'm just like, I'm really? Think, There's I'm, no I'm, way. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, oh, you're in fucking war, okay? There's yeah. being shots and shells and, you know, RPGs and and, and incoming. Are you going to hold your red card up? Oh my I God. I-, I need to take a break. Oh, Please. Oh, 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 Please oh, help me. Oh. Are no. you for real? Yeah. That's, That's not going to stop the anything. Fuck, man. There is no time out. <laughs> Shit. There's no time. Can you out. hand me that? What? That phone. Thank you. Ding. Being blown up here during our Ding podcast. Ling. And uh but these but these guys, 16, 17, 18 years old, World War Two, nineteen, you know, forty three, forty four, forty five is when the shit was the heaviest for these guys. And, I mean, they spent years over there. Now, when this was all said and done, we were still in war with Japan. Yeah. So, a lot of these guys were going to be sent from Germany to Japan to help with that war. But by the time it all was said and done and we dropped that bomb, that's when they, they, they first heard of and met the fuck around and find out. Yeah. Japan did. And yep. that shit got dropped. Shit got done. And they were like, you know what? Then they dropped another one. And boom, that's when the shit was like, all right, let's not fuck around with the U.S. anymore. Yeah. We done. Yeah. We done. But yeah, I mean, these guys, I mean, like, if you haven't seen it, if you will borrow it, I got, I have the whole box set collection. Oh, yeah? And I have the Pacific. The Pacific is the same but it's based on the Marines. Yeah. From the islands and all the shit that they went through over there. Is that over in uh Oh fuck. Iwo Jima. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. All that stuff. Okay. Yeah. 
but it's fucking crazy this shit now don't get me wrong our army guys all, all all of our guys went through a lot of shit over in germany yeah a lot of shit but a lot of those marine guys and those navy guys man went through some serious shit yeah on those islands like you know all the, the malaria Mm-hmm. you know all that dehydration and stuff like that but they and they they represent that shit well and in, in that series the pacific it's yeah. crazy shit but yeah i mean it's one of those things it's just like you know kids today and then the kids from then even like when i was a kid i was brought up to be respectful to my elders you know yeah i mean you're always going to have that one kid who's you know pretty defiant the outlier and, yeah <laughs> But, you know, I had one of those guys that I hung around yeah. with. And, you know, nobody's perfect. None of us were perfect kids, yeah. you know. But, I mean. Everybody were... has a different home life, too. Exactly. But, yeah, to be, you know, kids today, they just don't have that. They just want everything given to them. Yeah. You know. Oh, there's a it's, lot. It's... There's a lot of kids that are like that. Um, and then there's there's some of them, like Johnny and, and, and Jericho and McKenna, like they they work for it yeah they 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 know because we've taught them yeah that you don't just get whatever yeah and we talked about this yeah you know, yeah on the last episode but yeah it's just it's crazy but you know some kids and people just don't fucking yeah. get it and it's just like what the hell man yeah i mean when i went through basic they were in your face yep they couldn't touch you times changed they weren't allowed to touch you anymore. yeah but they got in your face. Sometimes be two, three that? deep drill sergeants, man. That shark attack. As soon as you get off that bus, dude, they're, you know, <laughs> you got that big ass fucking duffel bag. And it's like, pick it up, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. You got one over here. I said, put it down. I said, pick it up. I said, you know, you got oh, the good, God. good angel and the bad angel. <laughs> you know? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Did I say you can put it down? No, drill sergeant, pick it up. Did I say pick it up? No, drill sergeant, put it down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but hell yeah, man. But I, I tell you what, I had some of the best time of my life was in the military. Yeah. I met so many great people and had such a great time. And it was just one of those things I I don't think I'll ever forget in my life. There's a lot of camaraderie. You know, like even amongst the uh, the kids yeah. and stuff too. Because yep. their parents are all in the same boat. They're in the same boat. Yeah. basically like you have to that was the weirdest sound i'm sorry um but they're uh all, all in the same boat like they've been moving around a lot it made it a lot easier to be able to make friends like to oh. learn to make friends and stuff like that oh hell yeah growing up as a military brat so i didn't grow up as a military brat i yeah. just went in you know yeah. and uh i had a buddy of mine um who was a recruiter and stuff like that and you know he helped me out and you know, we were friends before I even thought about joining, you know, but yeah. uh, there, there's some some good military people out there, man. And even being out for all these years and when somebody's like, oh, you're in the service. I was like, yeah, man, you just you get talking about things, yep. you know, and it just brings back great memories and, and stuff like that. Um, luckily and unfortunately, I never saw battle. I never went into battle. I never went overseas. I stayed stateside, yeah. but I, I did a lot of stuff. Um, but, uh, I had a lot of friends that went over and a couple did a couple tours here and there and stuff and came back. And, uh, some of them that went over, you know, they were more, um, into the computer aspect of things getting oh, okay. things set up and running things yeah and, yeah you know and then they would you know come home or whatnot but i also met a lot of um contractor guys that went over and did a lot of that's lot where of work. you make the money is that's, in contractor the stuff man. yeah yep. <laughs> so but yeah but you know world war Two. these guys and then kids today but those guys like that the, the, the character donnie Wahlberg played man uh in one of the, the the episodes, he takes a shrapnel to the groin, Ooh. and man, he's like just pouring, and they're like, "All right, all right, lip, all right, we got this, man. Your shit's still there. Your shit is still." There. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> That's you the only know, thing I'm worried yeah, about. yeah, is you know? my dick working?" <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. But uh, some of these guys, uh, the one guy, uh, Joe Tory, he uh, lost his leg in Bastone in the woods, and um, 
and then uh, Bill Gonorrhea. They called him Bill Gonorrhea because his his name was Garnier. Oh so no! Like, oh, what Gonorrhea. a nickname! You know, Garnier Gonorrhea. But yeah, but oh, uh, my gosh. Bill Bill Garnier was from South Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty cool but how they represented that and stuff like that. But uh, they did a tour thing overseas, and uh, uh, Bill, you know, he, he went back with one of the other guys. That, that his name is Babe Heffron, mm-hmm. and Babe and him went, and uh, they toured that area where they were, and they looked out of the woods, and were like, yeah, man, and this was all this, this, and this. Some crazy shit. Yeah. But God forbid, man. I mean, so, like, but World War Two shit – that uh, that's that um uh what was it that uh that program i got hooked on man in the high castle yeah oh my god that <clears> shit <throat> is so fucking cool dude oh so <laughs> it's that, so mind fucky it's it's crazy it is i that whole aspect of what if yeah what if the nazis did come up with their nuclear yeah. Bomb. What if they were actually able to perfect time travel? Oh my god, man! Like, <laughs> so, but yeah, there's a documentary. There's some stuff online, but that man in the high castle really made you think. Like, if they were to have developed their yeah. shit, the way in that show was, they drop the bomb on yep. Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. and all these other areas. So you got the whole. United States split down the center from the the Rocky Mountains. And on the one side, you have the Pacific, which was governed by the Japanese. And then on the other side was all Nazi America, apparently. And it's just like, holy shit, man. But it's just like, it's a mind-blown thing, man. It's like, damn. There was propaganda everywhere. Oh, Oh, and and in the center, it was the neutral zone. It was like a neutral zone. It was like a fucking wasteland. Yep little towns and it, yep. it wasn't governed by any laws and shit like that yep. but yeah but man what a crazy ass show that show is fucking crazy yeah it's i fun. mean it, it was a little slow at some points yeah there was a lot of not i wouldn't necessarily call it filler but you had to pay attention mm-hmm. to what because everything tied in oh it did everything tied in and if you weren't paying attention to certain things you'd be like what the what the fuck? Wait a minute. I have to go back and like watch this other episode because this doesn't make sense. And then you're all fucked. You have to watch it through. It, yeah. It's painstaking, but it there's. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. It's yeah. so, so good. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was good, man. And uh, it was only five seasons and it ended yeah. weird. But I mean, it was all, all I think all. I think one of the reasons why it ended weird, um, if I remember correctly which sometimes I do not. But uh, the person that wrote the books, because it's based off the uh, the books, mm-hmm. Man in the High Castle. Um, it, I don't, I don't think that he was either finished with the end of it, or they just didn't like the way that it ended or something like that. Hmm. Um, I'll have to look that up and get back to you on it, because... From what I remember, it was the series wasn't finished or it hadn't been finished yet. And they wanted to get the TV series finished. And that's just why it ended on that weird note. Shit. Yeah, yeah but it, it there was a lot of cool things to it. But, man, it was it was really, really weird. Isn't that kind of like what happened with. Uh, what was that other TV show that they did that with? Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. But they're coming out with a, a spinoff. Yeah. Jon Snow. Oh. I believe. Well, didn't they do that, too, with the um, the dragon family or um, whatever? It's House of Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's based on everything prior, before. It's, okay, so it's, it's like a prequel. Pre, it's it's kind of like how they did the, what was that series? The, Ho- the not the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. They came out with Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings was great. And they're like, "Oh, we need to know what happened before." Yeah, and, and that was a Hobbit. the Hobbit. I was like, "Why didn't you read the book?" <laughs> right, and I mean, if you think about it too, like look at Harry Potter and then Fantastic yep. Beasts. You know, yep. that, 
it's basically a prequel to all that yep. because look how young. But that's they're... how the books ended up coming <clears throat> out too, though, because Fantastic yeah. Beaks or Beaks. Beaks. <laughs> 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 Fantastic Beasts didn't end up coming out until after that series was take like completely finished. Yeah, and I think that a lot of the um, the Harry Potter stuff, like there were little tidbits of things that were mentioned in the books, mm -hmm. and there were just so many fans that showed so much interest in particular parts. It's kind of like um, how you have. Um, a, a TV show, and then somebody really focuses on this one side character. Yeah. And they're like, that side character is amazing. And then they end up scooching off somewhere I else. I believe, um, because of these, I, I believe they found out Dumbledore was gay. What? I think so. Did you see the last one? No. I think he was in love with one of the bad guys. I could be wrong. Maybe it's me, but I'm not sure. You have to look Who at it. Who would it have been? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, I'm hoping that they do The Cursed Child. Yeah. As a movie. Yeah. They did it as a play on Broadway. Because that's how the book was written. was written like act one, scene one. You know what I mean? Stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. But, yeah. But The Cursed Child was... I didn't realize that. Yeah. And that looks really good. So that's like based on harry's kids and oh yeah and, see there's a whole nother like Malfoy's generation kid. to go into at that point mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so but it, it it wasn't it wasn't bad because did in the end did they end up finding all of the horcruxes yeah they did yeah well harry was the last horcrux remember he died so technically and, doesn't that mean that th he could still come back because harry's alive no no no, because Harry died. He killed Harry, but Harry had the resurrection stone. So he was killed, but he was brought back by the resurrection stone. Oh, I forgot about that. So <laughs> at one point, um, Harry had all the Deathly Hollows. He had okay. the invisible cloak. Yeah. He had the elder wand. Yeah. He had the resurrection stone. Okay. So he had all all those at one point, you know, and then. But yeah, I mean, it was it was crazy. But they're good movies. I love, I could watch those all the time. Oh yeah, you know, because they they fall in between your holidays. Like yes. you get the Christmas one, you yep. get the Halloween one. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. But yeah, they're all good. But yeah, I I don't know prequel movies. It, I guess it just depends on how they make them. Yeah, you know, it's just like when when we had original Star Wars three, four, and five. You know what I mean. So you have. A New Hope, Return, uh, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And then they go and they do. And that was, so they literally start, because they had one, all of Menace, the. And that's when they brought out yep. the worst possible character ever invented. Is that Jar Jar Binks? Fucking Jar Jar <laughs> Binks. <laughs> Me step out the fucking asshole. <laughs> any, any, any. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> worst fucking character oh my god see ever. i thought i thought like the concept for his character that like he looked cool yeah until he spoke <laughs> just like can he just not have any lines mm -hmm. please Unbelievable. just let him stand there and look kind of cool because his, his people looks cool but they all fucking talk the same too yeah <laughs> i was like what the fuck but yeah and then you know you went on and stuff like that but the newer ones i enjoyed you know yeah you know, I enjoyed, you know, The Force Awakens and, you know, and stuff like that and Rise of Skywalker. And What's your favorite, um, your, your, your favorite race, like of all the aliens and stuff that they had in there? Oh, in Star Wars? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Star Wars, I would have to say, um, it'd have to be the Mandalorians. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. you got Boba Fett, you got the Mandalorian. They were such a great race, you know? Yeah. And then, you know, they they had to go underground. Yeah. And stuff like that. But, yeah, I thought those were really, really cool. I think I have well, my top favorite one is uh, typical, the, the little Ewoks. Because they That's look my like. Yeah. That's <laughs> they my look wife's. like um, it's this type of uh, 
terrier. Like a, there's like a, a terrier. Baby. There's a terrier that you can um we we can look up it, and it literally looks like a little Ewok. He's got like <laughs> a, a little beard and shit. Really? His little nose is all stuffed up like this. And if you put him in an outfit, he would look just like an Ewok. But um the other one is the sand people. <laughs> oh, the Tuscan Raiders, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm or, like, yes. or, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about that. So, um, have you seen uh, Boba Fett? Did you watch any of Boba Fett? I haven't watched Boba Fett yet. Okay. I watch, did see I'm some gonna, of the Mandalorian. Right. So, but watch Boba Fett. Yeah. Okay, because it'll explain him getting out of the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Tuscan Raider. It just watch that. I'm yes. not going to tell you nothing. Just okay. watch it. Okay. It's a good series. Yes. It's freaking awesome. That's on uh Disney. Okay, yeah. okay. So, but then, you know, and then they did Obi-Wan. That was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. I thought that was great. And I believe they're doing another season of that yeah. too. So, and then it, I think it's awesome that you can like make great backstories for these oh, yeah. characters because it started out as a great story. Star Wars started out as great shit to begin with. Well, look at and then having You know, that yeah. show was kicking ass, yeah. man. And they brought back Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Not not Darth Vader, but him as Anakin. So, yeah. and stuff like that. So, you got Anakin Skywalker back and, you know, all that. So, it's it's like really, really cool shit. So, but yeah. I think they're supposed. I thought. I thought possibly they're working on something, maybe Clone Wars. I thought I heard. That I could be wrong cool. on that. So if you guys know anything, leave yeah. it in the comments below. <laughs> yes, exactly. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> but yeah, I have to look up some more on that. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, Mandalorians were the best. Um, and in in Star Wars, now in Star Trek. I don't know, man. There's so many cool ass aliens yeah. in Star Trek, you know. So I mean, they got some hot ones in green, some hot <laughs> ones in blue. <laughs> I like the ladies, mm-hmm. <laughs> the lady aliens. Kirk, man, I Kirk, like them. <laughs> Kirk was all over that shit, man. <laughs> Captain Kirk, man, he was. You know, Kirk. I thought that it was really cool that. Um, Star Trek was the first uh it was the first series that did an interracial kiss. Who was that the 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 woman? Oh, and, Uhura. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So they they did that and um the the video that I had seen where they were talking about it. Uh oh my gosh, what is his name? I'm having such a brain fart. Um Leonard Nimoy? No. It's not Spock. No, um, he played Kirk. William Shatner. Yes, William Shatner. Oh my God. God. <laughs> so William Shatner, they're they're Captain trying to make bridge. it. They're the trying bridge. to make it look like they're not like really actually kissing. So they did a whole bunch of different scenes, and he would kiss her the same way every fucking time, until they were finally like, okay, well we're out of film, um, and he's like. Well, great. We we should just you know take in the first take like we had done it the first time because I did it the same way every time. I don't know why you kept trying to redo it because it was just yeah. like this is futuristic shit. Mm-hmm. Like we're living we're living in the the future the now. There's a whole bunch of interracial couples. Like yeah. th- why would you why would you try to exclude that? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. We're we're all of the of same race. We're all humans. <laughs> we all bleed red. Yes. Just remember that. We all bleed red. Yes. We're all going to die. <laughs> we're all going to be buried or cremated or whatever, you know, but you don't know. Yep. Maybe we ain't even from this world. There's two things that are certain in life. Death and taxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we all have to take oh, care of them. Oh shit. hell yeah! There's man, there is so like that's the whole thing. Like we we all bleed red. Yeah, you know, there's why why be like that? Like all this shit that's happening overseas. Yeah, over stupid shit. Yep. You know, it's just like come on, man. You know, oh blah 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 blah. Whatever, man. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah. No. But no. And the cool thing about Star Trek too is. Look at all the technology they were using, mm-hmm. even for like the 60s and the 70s on the show. Yeah. We're using that shit now. <laughs> you know, we had flip phones. Yeah. 
We got tablets like they're walking around checking yep. diagnostics I and think analytics the only on. Thing, I think the only thing that we're missing <clears throat> is that it's supposed to it's supposed to boop up from your arm and be like a little screen. And you just I guarantee. <laughs> I guarantee Bill Gates got some shit like yeah. that already. <laughs> guarantee it. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah. You know, like fucking Jarvis, man. I bet you Bill Gates got his own Jarvis. Uh, I bet. Like Tony Stark style. Well, shit. I mean, they have, uh, yes, what Mr. is it, Gates. the 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 I, I home? There's yeah. You can literally buy products that will set your house temperature, oh, yeah. know when you're going on vacation. If you have an Alexa in your house, like there's certain things that it records, like all that crazy stuff. Uh-oh. We lost. We lost it for a minute. Reaching for some, uh, some power here. <laughs> some water. <laughs> Must have Oh, water. need water. Oh, wait. Water break. Water break. Water break. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, the, um, um, the Alexa shit, like, if you've got all that stuff, that it's listening to you. Oh, yeah. Just like Siri. Like, I swear to God, Dude, every time I get on my Google... I, and I had been talking about something, and I click my little search thing to go and search stuff. There's something I've why been talking about. And why the fuck are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> why and you got to be so nosy? So I had some issues with my tablet yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And I'm on my tablet, and I reprogram my one program that I use on it for tattooing Procreate. Yeah. yeah. I'm scrolling on my phone. Every other thing now is procreate, 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 procreate. I'm like, it's crazy. It's so targeted advertising. AI, it's coming to life. It's ridiculous. Skynet. No, I, oh, I freaking love you, the Terminator movies. That's happening. my shit. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's it, man. Da, I'm telling you. Da, da. If I start seeing naked bodybuilders oh coming my out of God. like glowing bubbles, did you see? Okay, I have to, I have to send you the video for this, and I know that somebody had, like, you had to have seen it. So there was a ball; it literally looked like a ball of plasma mm-hmm. that was floating above these railroad tracks. It was like I've seen that video. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, and somebody like at the end of it comes in, and he's like, "So if you saw this video and you thought." In just a few seconds, I'm going to see a six foot two Austrian man <laughs> asking me for my clothes, my boots, and boats. my motorcycle. <laughs> I need your boots, your clothes, and your bike. <laughs> Get to the chopper. No. <laughs> Come with me if you want to leave. <laughs> but yeah, he's still doing shit, man. Do Arnold. <sighs> He's still doing shit, man. He's still freaking cool, too. He is. Like, he's still cool. Him and Stallone. Stallone is... Yeah. St- so, they have aged so well. Yeah. So well. Shit, It's man. freaking Him, amazing. I, 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 the, the great thing about Stallone is he did the Expendables. The yes. whole Expendable series. Yes. And he's got all the great 80s, 90s action-packed heroes yes. in that fucking shit. Everybody, man. So I think my favorite Expendables line is, so, you know, Wesley Snipes went to prison for apparently tax evasion. Oh, really? Yeah. So he was in prison for a while for not paying his taxes and some shit like that. Oh, wow. And when he got out, you know, it was time for him to get back into action, you know, trying to find roles and Mm -hmm. whatnot. And uh, he did a couple like B-rated movies. And uh, but then uh, Sly brought him in to the expendables yes. so like he, apparently he's this prisoner on this train and shit like that and like they break on this train to free this dude who's a friend of him and stuff he's one of the original expendable brothers you mm-hmm. know and when they finally get him free and everything like that and they get him up on the plane they're like so why did why why were you locked up he's like uh tax evasion <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was honest. <laughs> you know, but yeah, they use that line in the movie. But That's it, freaking it was great. cool as shit, man. But yeah, I mean, like Stallone used so many great people. Like yeah. Dolph Lundgren is in that. You know, you got Randy Couture from the UFC and shit yes. like that. And one of my favorite guys, Cheeseburger Eddie. <laughs> you got Terry Crews, you know. Oh I my fucking God. love him, man. Yes, Terry Crews is the best. 
<laughs> like he is so he's such a great dad too. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Like he 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 figured out, you know, his son was really into gaming and stuff like that and he was like, "Okay, I'm going to try and get into what he's into cuz he's really not into the stuff that I right. like would normally be into." So he he tries. I think it is so awesome when parents, they're not just like, oh, my God, why are you doing this? Or this doesn't make any sense to me. Just try it. Please yeah. just try it. It's something that makes your kid happy. <laughs> That's it. And, he and does they that. just want to spend time with you. <laughs> yeah, he's he's such a great person. And he's so down to earth. I've watched a lot of interviews with Terry yeah. Crews and the shit that he went through with his mom and stuff like that. He's an amazing artist, too. Oh, Have he you is. seen his artwork? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's super, super. So shout out to you, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> you hear this? We Terry love you, Cruz, Terry. We love you. We love you, Cheeseburger Eddie. <laughs> you know? And Damien, OG Damien. Yeah. That's who he played on with Ice oh, Cube oh. and Mike Epps. Come on now. What movie was that? It's, it's, it's one of our favorite Christmas movies. Is it Friday? It's, Friday? It's one of them. Next Friday. Friday after next. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, he, dude, that fucking movie is the shit. Oh and my he God. plays <laughs> fucking Damien. Yeah. Who just got out of prison Oh, and shit. God, and, I remember that fucking scene. Mm, wasn't, wasn't it Cat Williams that was Cat in Williams, there with him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Money Mike. He plays Money Mike. <laughs> Pimping ain't easy, you know. Fuck. He's like, <laughs> oh my god, those freaking movies are are the best, riot. man. <laughs> They're but, so uh, ridiculous. Yeah, but uh, Ice Cube was right in that movie Friday when he was in NWA. Really? Mm -hmm. If you uh, watch Straight Outta Compton, yeah, and uh, there's a, a clip in there where he's uh, working and he's writing the stuff out and he's sitting there and he's like got knocked the fuck out <laughs> in the movie Compton. So he, he was writing. Uh, oh, that's yeah. so funny. And his kid played him in that movie, Straight Outta Compton. Oh, really? Yeah. So the guy that plays Ice Cube in Straight Outta Compton is yeah. actually Ice Cube's son. Oh. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So Ice Chip. Ice Chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ice Chip. <laughs> Shit. Nicknames, oh, man. Oh, Nicknames. my gosh. That's mm. great. <laughs> but, yeah, Terry Crews, hell of an actor and such such a uh, a down-to-earth gentleman, too. Yeah. Man. Like, just the way he is, like, he does the American Idol stuff, the stage guy, you know, yeah. he, and, you know, and stuff like that. But everything I've seen him in, the talk shows, the interviews and stuff, Um, he actually, there's a gentleman on YouTube who does a YouTube channel for Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah. Where they do celebrities that come in and play. Oh, my God, I've <clears> watched <throat> one of his. <laughs> yeah. They've done. So uh, great. Uh, Terry Crews did it with him. Uh, Jack Black, yeah. um, uh, the chick from, um, she was in, um, what the hell is that? True Blood. She played. Uh, is she the the blonde or the redhead? She was the the redhead, the long hair redhead okay. one at the end. Where is the, she? Is that the same woman that played in Daredevil in the series? Yes. She was yes, okay. Yes yes, yes. yes. I know who we're talking about. Yeah. Now. Yeah. She. I have she to was, connect all the dots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. But that's another series I can't wait to start that Disney yeah. picked up and uh, they're working on now. So the Punisher and the Daredevil. Oh, my gosh. You haven't watched them? Oh, I've watched them. Oh, okay. I've been watching the shit out of those things, man. Oh, over and over. So oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, man. Charlie have, Cox. Have you seen um, Iron Fist? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you've no. watched Jessica Jones as well? Some of it. You got to be like into it, into it to watch Je Jessica Jones. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of like her, her particular stuff is really dark. Yeah. It's like super dark. And the the main villain that's in there does some really heinous shit. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely not for the the queasy or uh, weak of constitution. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I've I've got original comic books from when I was a kid that I collected over years. Uh, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, uh, the Luke Cage stuff, man, was phenomenal too. So, oh yeah, yeah he's super cool. Yeah, you got 
man. And then when they teamed up as the, um, when they teamed everybody up Mm -hmm. and they made the series there too, you know, where everybody was together, man, I thought was freaking awesome too. Yep. Yeah. I thought it was really cool throughout all of those series that somebody from one. It was a crossover. uh, Yeah. There was always one that ended up coming in there or possibly two. Yeah. It was really, really cool. But yeah, I thought I thought all those were great, man. And then now that hopefully Disney does justice with all this shit. Yeah. You know, so but uh we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, it was so funny because like I was like at Disney, everything's like G rated. Yeah. You know, or P G or P G. Yeah. I don't think they went higher than P G thirteen. And then, like, I'm looking at shit, and I'm like, I'm on the app, and I'm like, where the hell is like Deadpool? Because they 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 bought Marvel, yeah, you know. And I'm like, where's all the Deadpool shit? Well, you got to go into your settings and click on allow eighteen and over movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you did that, you got all the lo- you got the Logans, you got the Deadpools and okay. stuff like that. So okay. Deadpool three is going to be the shit. Did you did you see mm-hmm. the um? slightly more uh kid friendly version of deadpool (laughs) (laughs) no my sister bought that one because she she wanted that my niece kept asking her please 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 let me watch it the only thing that is really not like child friendly in the movie because you can sit there and say everything else is fake (laughs) you know all that other stuff is fake it was the sex stuff. Yeah. Like, that was the only part that you had Happy to really, like, cut out. Woman's Day. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> fucking Ryan Reynolds. I love him. He's so fucking yeah. great. He, oh, he, God. I, they, they really did him justice from the so-called Deadpool yes. from Wolverine. Yes. You know, and... Uh, I was very upset with oh, that Oh, me Deadpool. too. Me very too. Very upset. And I'm I'm sure that Ryan was too. <laughs> so, I, I, I love the, the scenes in Deadpool when he goes back in time. And he's like, oh, cool, the Green Lantern. And then he shoots himself in the back of the head. <laughs> you know? Yes. It's like one of his big mistakes. You know he was I mean? like, nope. The suit was CGI. Yep. CGI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's great that uh oh my gosh what was it um who who was the guy that played Batman Which when one? it was Batman and Su- versus Superman Oh Ben Affleck Yes okay mm-hmm. so there was something that I heard read Ben Affleck really liked the Batman suit right Yeah so he asked you know hey can I keep you know, it have the suit <laughs> and they said well it's going to cost this much money. He's like, you know what? I don't like to see that much. <laughs> and <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan Reynolds approach to it was, you know what? I'm playing this. This is the role that I've been waiting for my whole fucking life. I'm taking one of those fucking tips. <laughs> so he just left with one. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, I mean, it's just uh, so... I don't know. I I just can't. You know, they picked the perfect person for that yes. role, and Ryan Reynolds by far is the most amazing yes. guy to, <laughs> to play. play to and he ball. he does it so. Ryan Reynolds just in general is funny as balls. Yes, he truly is. Uh, like one of my favorite all time movies with him in it is uh, well, is waiting. Yeah. Where they play the waiters yeah. at shenanigans. Oh my gosh, yes. It was great. It was fucking awesome. Monty. His yes. name was Monty. Yes. And he's like, how do you make $100 a night? And he's like, how do I make $100 a night in tips? And he's like, well, it's all about that. And he points over and it's the Spanish guy. And he's got his his shit hanging out. And he's like, that's it. And Monty for the assist, you know? Oh he's like, Because they play this game like uh, full male <laughs> frontal nudity. You know oh, what I mean? Jesus. You know? So he's like, what was it? He's like, this is the goat. Yeah, the goat. <laughs> this is the, the bat, bat wing. wing. <laughs> he's like, on your downtime, go home, play with your balls. See what you can come up with. You know, oh you gosh. squeeze them. It's the brain. It's the brain. <laughs> oh, geez, fuck, man. That is the oh shit. Oh my gosh, it's so great. <laughs> he, uh, I, what the hell is his name? That actor, that little Spanish guy. But uh, he's been in a lot of movies over the years. He was in. Um, I, yes, man. 
he he played the uh, the guy that was he he was gonna jump in Yes Man. I think yeah, it was. he he was in um, Scarface. Uh, he was in Carlito's Way. He uh, one of the best movies I've seen him in. Uh, it's an older one, The Count of Monte Cristo. Oh yeah, yes. God, that's been forever since I've watched yeah, that, that movie. That movie they called uh, what's his name Zatara. He's like, oh, he sounds fierce. He's like, it means driftwood. It means driftwood. <laughs> but yeah, he's 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 a hell of an actor too. That's great. But yeah, man. But he was he was great in that movie. But there was a lot of good people in that movie. Waiting, you, you know, uh, Dane Cook was in there. He played yep. in the back. Yeah, fucking love Dane Cook. Always love Dane what Cook. What was that um, that movie that he was in? Oh, he was in a in like a, this. Uh, somebody had put a curse on him. And women would date him, and then after they would date him, and they would end the relationship, they would find the one. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I I re, I, I, I remember like vaguely. Brief, vaguely on yeah, that. I, I can't I, remember I what the name of that fucking movie is. There's that one, and then there's the one uh, we watch all the time, and it's it's him, it's uh, um, Jessica Simpson. Where they work as stock boys, Tom Green's in it mm-hmm. and stuff like that, and him and the guys they hide up in the the shelves. They built like paper towel for oh, it God. around it, but yeah, um, employee of the month. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Oh yeah, I remember. It was like um, uh, it was like they worked at like yeah. a Costco or yeah, something like, a like Costco, that. Costco, Sam's yeah, Club, a big and, yeah. a big store. Okay, yep. okay, yeah, that was yeah, I remember one. that one. But Dane Dane Cook, man, is the fucking man. His stand up and shit, I, I loved him. I remember, um, like his his stuff came out um, when I was in high school, and one of the first ones that I had seen uh, was the Kool Aid Man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah! Oh no! No! What have you done to this beautiful home? No. <laughs> uh, what what what's this one <laughs> man? I fucking love to death when he's like he like he talks about uh. The spaghetti basket. He likes to go into a restaurant and point out. He's like, mm, yes. Um, uh, let me have a number five. The spaghetti basket. And they're like, sp- they're they're up there looking at the board. Like, where the hell's the spaghetti? But he just makes the shit up. Oh my god. <laughs> spaghetti basket. Let me get the spaghetti basket. The spaghetti basket. He talks about uh, you know, being Catholic and in the church and getting up and down, and it's like. No. You know, the mm, Reese's Pieces and shit <laughs> like that. He's fucking great, man. I fucking love Dane uh, Cook. Oh, my gosh. The, 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 the other one was the the office, the office weirdo. Oh. Yeah. So the, the quiet guy in the yeah. office, he's like, I, I, I always give those the, that guy Snickers. You know, like give him candy. Yeah. He's so the guy one day, one you. day, he's the guy that's going to end up coming in. And he's got the, you know, the AK. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me Snickers. <laughs> Thanks for the Snickers. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, man. But yeah. But no, man. Yeah. There's a man. So many. But fuck, man. Yeah. Waiting was one of my favorite Ryan Reynolds movies. Um, I well, really loved Detective Pikachu. I. It took me forever to finally figure out because I didn't want. I'm one of those people that I well, don't want to know. Cook was who the it, voice of. One of the thing. Oh no, no Ryan, it was Ryan, Ryan, Re- Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds was he was uh, Pikachu. Was Pikachu. Yeah. And um it took me forever cuz I try not to pay attention to what movie stars are in the movies. I'm right. just like I I just want to go and see the movie. Um if they did a good job, you know, I'm sure that they got the great actors that they needed to have in the movie to be able to do the movie. So I'm sitting there and I'm like that Pikachu sounds familiar. Who is it? Is that Deadpool? <laughs> is that Ryan Reynolds? And then at the end of the movie, I was like, "I told you, I told you it was Ryan." Reynolds. Yeah, he was. Um, what was that? What was that other one? Uh, shit. He did a good one on. I think it's an Amazon movie or a Netflix movie, The Adam Project. Yeah. Check that one out. Uh, uh, um, the that Adam he did, Project. The Adam Project. That's the one Ryan Reynolds did. Where um, he comes back from the future to him, his young self. Yeah. After his dad died and stuff like that and shit like that. But yeah, that's a good one too. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good one, man. But yeah, Ryan Reynolds, man, he kicks ass. He's got some good shit. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. And his oh god, his wife. Um. Uh, what what was her name again? Why why what? Blake Lively. Mm -hmm. 
oh, she is so gorgeous. She's so pretty. And <laughs> they fucking make fun of each other all the time. <laughs> they don't fucking... She'll take a picture of him and, like, crop out the majority of stuff and be like, felt cute. <laughs> he, he, like, put up a, a, a picture or something, like, for her birthday. Yeah. And she looked, like, so disheveled. Like, her hair was all a mess. He was like, happy birthday to the love of my life. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that to her? But they're they they're back and forth like that all the time, and that's just how yeah. they are. <laughs> that's awesome, man. So Erica and I, we just finished binge watching. Um, we have the whole box set. We just finished last night the final episode of the '70s show. Oh, really? All eight seasons. We oh, watched them wow. all. And I tell you what, that is by far the best show that was on. I, I feel like I relate to the mom a lot. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> she is a fucking trip, that lady. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But uh um it it was such a great show. And like just like when we started watching it uh, from season one, you know, uh each season is three discs. And uh so it was it was really good. And then, you know, I got hooked on the Netflix series, uh, The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Which is really good. And, you know, the beginning of that ranch, you know, all the shit that went down with Danny Masterson. Yeah. So that man's, dude, you know, he was a good actor. I'm not going to lie. He was a good actor. But the shit that he did is fucked up. Yeah. And he did it in the name of so-called Scientology, I guess, yeah. or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm not going to dive deep into that. Mm -hmm. But- the shit that he did to these women is fucked up, and I mean, no means no. Yeah. But on the the outskirts of watching these series and these shows, they are funny as shit. Yes, you know. And so one of the things I was relating to Erica about was I'm watching the ranch. You know, I've watched all that ranch shit, and then we're watching all the '70s show stuff, and and I'm like, holy shit, so many actors from the 70s show were on the ranch huh fez he played on the ranch yeah danny masterson played on the ranch uh kitty foreman played on the ranch red foreman was on the ranch oh wow yeah there were so many people from that show yeah. that played on the ranch hmm. yeah it was it was pretty interesting who um who was it that ended up like creating the concept for the show was it what the ranch yeah i don't know if it was ashton kutcher or, or if it was like somebody that was close to the the group from the that most likely that yeah. show. but it was great and then when danny masterson got into all that bullshit trouble yeah. years ago they had to get him off the show mm -hmm. so they wrote him off on the ranch as they as he died and then they brought in the other guy yeah well, i forget what the hell's his name um here, where's my phone? We're gonna Google this real quick. <laughs> um, but he fit the show perfectly, yeah. you know, and he fell right in. And uh, see, that's nice too when you're able to find somebody that that meshes well with the crew and all that stuff. Right. Uh, let's see, who was it? It was oh, Dak Shepard. Okay. Yeah. So he was actually in. Um, that movie with uh, Dane Cook, the Costco one. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and employee of the Month, you know? Okay. But uh, his wife, Dak's wife, is uh, an actress. She played in Bad Moms with, um, uh, what's her face? Miley, or not Miley. No, um, Mila Kunis? Mila Kunis, yeah. But she was the one whose mom and the second one came and was going to buy the house next door to them. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's his wife, the blonde. Cool. But, yeah, he he fit perfect into that role in the ranch. I thought so. But, yeah. you know, everybody has their own opinions. But, oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody But, yeah, it was just crazy. <laughs> but uh, it was so funny because, like, we're watching, you know, the whole 70s show thing. And then, like, uh, Leo, Tommy Chung, mm -hmm. isn't it? You know? And then all of a sudden, season five and six, he was gone. He wasn't in this show no more. Yeah. Well, here, here he was in jail <laughs> for selling bongs. What? Yeah, he got arrested for selling paraphernalia. 
but why? <laughs> That's that's what happened, man. So he had to do a little stint. So what? Um, but he came back at like seven and where was he eight. at though that he would have gotten arrested for I th- that? I, th- I think at the time it was Cali or something like In that. In Cali, he I, got a let's see. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Hold on. Oh wait, and you said that this was the he got arrested during the that '70s show. Yeah, he was the... he was working on the. Uh, the '70s show, and then he had okay, to take a break because he was in was jail. Like not kosher back then during that time that they were making those. I mean, you hear about stuff like that now, and you're like, "Really? Why? Oh, it was because it wasn't legal then." <laughs> yeah, it says here uh, that '70s show. Why Tommy Chung Leo suddenly disappeared and returned. Tommy Chung joined the 70s show during its second season as Leo. Uh, here's why the character disappeared after season four and why the actor returned. Tommy was Sir uh, Tommy Chung served up one of the best guest spots on the 70s show, but he disappeared for a time only to return after several seasons. The actor and musician uh, portrayed uh, Leo for 39 episodes. Uh, Chong was the perfect figure that appeared in the series due to his association with the stone, stoner culture of the <laughs> 70s and his connection with cannabis rights. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. And it goes on. Let's see. Leo appeared throughout the 70s show, season two or three, recurring character. And... Man, they really add a lot of shit, don't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's kind of like when you try to look up a recipe and they want to give you their whole fucking yeah. story and not so the following recipe. So <laughs> following his work uh, on that '70s show, yeah. season four, Chung fell into a bit of legal trouble. His company, Nice Dreams Enterprises, turned into a raid of his home where a large amount of marijuana was found. For his actions in selling bongs and marijuana pipes on the internet in 2003. He was fined twenty grand and sentenced to nine months in jail. Bruh. <laughs> uh, the actor served his time, which explains why he couldn't appear on the '70s show. Oh yeah. But yeah, so paraphernalia, bad boys. What? But what yeah, he is the greatest though on that show. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, man. Yeah, but, man. <laughs> one of the best stoners, dude. <laughs> Tommy Chung, right next to uh, what's his name, and um. Dazed and confused. Is it? Oh fuck! It's not Cheech and Slater. Chong. Slater. Slater was the kid in Dazed and Confused. He's like, I know you, man. We have Slater. history together. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, man, I gotta God, meet it's up been with forever you. Ever since I've watched that movie, too. Oh, come on, man. Fucking Dazed and Confused yeah. is like one of the greatest. It. I. I need to like rewatch some stuff. I'm I'm a TV movie whore, man. Yeah. I love. Shit. You're like I've seen all the things. <laughs> I have a huge DVD collection. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I just I love stupid movies too. You know, there's so many great movies. Days and Confused is one of the. It's a it's a pop culture icon movie now. Yeah. I mean, it was a B movie that wasn't going to be much and. It's nuts how it turned into this huge thing. Like every yeah. year they do like it's a, a big. It's a very big, um, what, what do they call it? The cult classics. It, that's what it is. Yeah. It's a cult classics. Yep. And there's um, some of the um, the actresses and actors from it. Ben Affleck was yeah. in it, man, like back in the day and shit like that. that but, wasn't that how he got his start? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was from uh, that? One of, one of the few, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there's the one guy uh, in there. Yeah. Um, with the uh, the hair who was doing some of the paddling. And that is Rip now from the greatest show on Paramount, which is Yellowstone. Mm. He plays Rip, married to, you know, Kevin Costner's daughter on that movie. I've seen a couple series. people um, watching that show. And Yellowstone? the only thing that I could think of is, uh, I, I think I remember asking you, it's like, the shit. Is, this, is this like Sons of Anarchy, but... With cows, <laughs> cowboys. It's good. It's real yeah. good. Yeah, there's a lot of good shit in that yeah. man. It's like, I don't know. It's like a soap. Yeah. Take Dallas. There is this. Uh, and add the Expendables. There's no. this one particular <laughs> scene that I remember seeing. It was over, um, over at my neighbor's house. I'd went over there uh, 
and this mom they're at like uh an outlet store that mm -hmm. they have like all the the cowboy hats and stuff like I, I guess it's like just an outfitters um and from what i could gather the mom was trying to get him to take a shirt off and he was trying to put a shirt on because he was trying to get more stuff and she's like you know what either she was like you know we don't do that or she's telling him to put it on and hurry up so we can get out of the store hmm. and this karen mom over to the side kind of comes over and she's like what are you doing that is abuse you need to stop oh yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah. and i was just like you weren't even in the fucking conversation like i get that you're trying in to the be show yeah so basically what it was is all right something happened she's at the hospital i believe her dad was in the hospital kevin costner yeah so she's outside smoking a cigarette and there's a boy out there and he like kind of bums the smoke and she gives him one she's like hold on aren't you like too young to smoke and blah blah blah, blah. well this kid's dad is in there and he's like dying from like an overdose or some shit oh jeez. and uh, so that's not even her kid no so she ends up helping the kid bringing him he had nowhere to go he ends up with her yeah so they're kind of, in some sense, looking after them, raising them, you know. Yeah. But she likes to shop, so she took him out to go shopping. And he's like, well, I want this shirt. And she's like, no, I'm not buying you. I'm buying you some work clothes. You're going to work? You're going to have work clothes, this and that. Well, I want this. Well, then I'm not going to fucking buy you anything. And then that's when the Karen lady was all into, oh, that's abuse. And she starts, so she takes her fucking phone and throws it on the ground, smashes it. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, but, what the fuck? Just, what did I walk in on? Like, what did I just witness? Yeah, it's a it's a good show. It's a real good show. So season five is up and the mid-season uh, startup should be coming soon. Okay. Hopefully in the next week or so. Oh, I think that's when it comes out in the next week or so. But it, it's it's good. There's a lot of shit that goes down in this show, man. It's 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 pretty cool really cool and then they did a couple spinoffs of it too um like prequels in some sense they did 1883 okay. with uh faith hill and tim mcgraw mm -hmm. and then they did um 1923 okay. with harrison ford and stuff like that so it's like it's the dutton family when they first get to montana and okay and stuff so like that. they're building their ranch exactly how okay. they get their land and where they're going from from there so okay. it's it's pretty cool but yeah there's it, it it's it's a good series, and I believe uh, uh, the creator uh, Sheridan is uh, he. Um, what's he doing? He's there's another spinoff series called The Four Sixes, which is based off a real ranch in Texas that actually he bought. It's a historical ranch down there in Texas called The Four Sixes. So they're they're gonna have that series too. Okay, so, but it's pretty cool because one of the guys from Yellowstone ended up leaving there and going to the Four Sixes to learn how to cowboy down in Texas. And, to learn how to cowboy. Yeah. So but, how to cowboy? <laughs> how to cowboy? I want to be a cowboy? You could be my cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there there is some cool cool shit. Good good shows and stuff like that. Um, uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of the sci-fi shit, like we were talking about earlier. But the new Star Trek stuff is really good. Um, Strange New World season two is out now. I, I binge watched the shit out of that, so that's really good. And what did then, you think about the uh, the Twilight Zone? The old stuff. I yeah. like. I love the old Twilight Zone. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. There's some really good ones. The Twilight Zone movies from back in the day and shit yeah. were good. One with John Lithgow, where he's on the fucking plane, and there's like this gremlin on the wing and shit, dude. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That's some crazy shit. And he gets down there at the end, and they get him in the ambulance from his nervous breakdown. Because think that he's yeah. fucking and freaking fucking out. Dan Aykroyd's like, the, he's like, man, you think that's scary? You want to see something really scary? And then it just, it fucking ends, you oh, know? <laughs> it's it's no. fucking good. But yeah, there's, yeah, Twilight Zone movies are really good. Um... What was the, the the horror movies? I tell you what, the new Evil Dead Rise is really fucking good. Yeah, that was fucking fantastic. The whole Evil Dead stuff, you know, that was dynamite. A lot of really good. I always bloody thought gore. like watching all of the like the older movies, the horror movies and stuff like that, with all the ridiculous amounts of blood yeah. and stuff. I was like, this is this is what 
horror movies are supposed to be like. Oh, and yeah. then you have the ones that are the uh, they fuck with your head. Those are the ones that really are scary, in my opinion. The ones with the ridiculous amounts of blood and all that other crap. It's just like, oh, okay, you know, this is, you know, old Hollywood, right? Scary movie kind of stuff. But the ones that are, you have to think about what's going on. Those are the ones that are really scary to me. Well, look at the, like the original, like the the Nightmare on Elm Street and shit. The one with yeah. Johnny Depp when he was laying on a bed and they sucked him into the water bed. Yeah, and shot yeah. All that fucking blood. No, shit, like man. that. That shit's fucking scary. That shit was creepy, man. There was a movie when I was a kid. I haven't seen in years, and I have to see if I can find it. It was called Pieces. Uh huh. It was about this dude who killed his mom or something like that i I could be wrong but he killed his mom but then he was killing people and cutting pieces and sewing it back together and making his mom so i i I don't remember but yeah oh my gosh that's crazy yeah you can't put that back together (laughs) no so hell yeah man oh shit well ladina i guess that's it for today all righty yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Always enjoy talking to you. Oh, you're so sweet. I love talking to you, too. <laughs> oh, now I won't. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Um, yeah, well, you know, we'll keep on trucking with these. We'll okay. keep doing them, guys, and uh, keep bringing them to you and shit like that. So, we'll sign out. I'm having to do this against my will. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. She is lying. I make her do them with me. <laughs> So, all righty. Well, that's today's episode, guys. All and right. this is Everyday BS. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Deuce.